In the previous videos, I explained that investors can recover some types of their investments using tax deductions. Tax deductions are categorized in two main groups, investment costs that can be expensed and investment costs that can be capitalized. Time is the only difference between these two categories. If a cost can be deducted from revenue in full amount as tax deduction, in the year that is, uh, it has happened, uh, it's called uh, the, the cost is expensed. Uh, costs such as operating costs can uh, can be in this category. If a cost has to be deducted from revenue as tax deduction in more than one year, uh, it is called capitalized, uh, such as money that, that is paid for machinery, building, uh, and so on. Uh, things that uh, generally lose their value over time can uh, are allowed to be in this category. Uh, then, in previous video, I explained the depreciation as one method that uh, we can capitalize an investment cost. And uh, as I explained in previous video, there are four major methods of depreciation. I explained a straight line and a straight line half-year convention uh, in the previous video. And in this video, I'm going to describe the second method, which is a declining balance uh, depreciation method. Declining balance depreciation is also called exponential depreciation. This method is not yet used and allowed in the United States, but uh, the modified versions of this method uh, are widely used. Uh, so we are going to learn this method first because the, the, the other methods uh, uh, are based on the uh, declining bal balance depreciation. So declining ba ba balance depreciation considers a constant depreciation rate. In the straight line, the depreciation was constant. Here, for the declining balance, the depreciation rate is constant over the years. So in this method, we multiply the constant declining rate by the adjusted base. Let's work on this example uh, to see how the declining balance depreciation works. In this example, we assume the declining rate is 25% and the asset is purchased at $100 with no salvage value. So the, uh, the residual book value for year one equals $100 minus uh, salvage value of zero. So we are going to have $100 of residual book value for year one. In order to calculate the depreciation for year one, we multiply the rate of 25% by the $100 and we are going to get $25 of depreciation for year one. For the second year, we deduct the depreciation rate from $100 and we are going to have the adjusted base of $75 for year two. We multiply that by 25% and we get $18.75 of depreciation for year two. For, t for year three, we need to calculate the adjusted base first. In order to calculate the adjusted base, we deduct the depreciation of the previous year from the adjusted base of the previous year to calculate the adjusted uh, base for year three. So $75 is the adjusted base in year two, and the 18.75 is, is the depreciation at year two. And uh, uh, it is going to be equal to $56.25. We multiply that by the declining rate, which is constant over the, rate, over the years, and we are going to have 14.06 of depreciation for year three. For the year four, we follow the same method, uh, adjusted base of uh, previous year minus the depreciation of the previous year, uh, and it is going to give us $42.19 of adjusted base for year four. We multiply that by the declining rate 
uh, depreciation rate and we get uh, 10.55 uh, dollars uh, for depreciation for year four so here we calculated the depreciation just for four years some countries announced the, the declining balance rate as a percentage that has to be divided by the number of years by the depreciation life n to calculate the declining uh, rate per year for example if uh, the the asset can be uh, depreciated over the lifetime of five years and the government announced the 150 percent of declining balance rate uh, to calculate the declining rate per year we just need to divide the 150 percent by the five per let's work on another example in previous video i calculated the depreciation for an asset that was purchased at a hundred thousand dollars with the salvage value of zero using the uh, straight line depreciation method in this example i'm going to calculate the depreciation using the declining balance uh, method and i'm going to consider declining balance rate of 150 percent and depreciation life of five years So the first thing that we have to do is uh, we have to calculate the declining rate per year. So we divide the 150% by the five years of depreciation life and we are going to get 30% of depreciation rate per year. So to calculate the, uh, the depreciation for the first year, we multiply the adjusted base, which was $100,000 by the declining rate that uh, we have 30 percent and we are going to get thirty thousand dollars of uh, depreciation for year one for year two we need to deduct the depreciation of the previous year from the adjusted base of the previous year so one hundred dollars so $100,000 of the adjusted base at year one minus $30,000, the depreciation at year one equals $70,000. And this is the adjusted base at year two. We multiply that by the declining balance of 30%. This is the, con this is the constant rate. And we are going to get $25,000 $25, of depreciation for year two. For year three, uh, $49,000 of adjusted base. For year three, we multiplied that by the uh, declining rate and $14,700 uh, of depreciation for year three. We follow the same method for year four. Uh, adjusted base of the previous year minus the depreciation of the previous year it gives us the adjusted base for uh, year four we multiply that by the uh, the depreciation uh, rate per year uh, and we calculate the depreciation and for year five so one very important uh, thing here to notice is the cumulative depreciation here the summation of all depreciations from year one to year five uh, is less than the depreciable value which was a hundred thousand dollars so in this method the asset is not fully depreciated and uh, uh, for the straight line method uh, for the straight line depreciation method we fully depreciated the asset so we had uh, $20,000 of depreciation at each year and the summation was $100,000 $100, but in this method uh, the money that uh, the investor gets is less than uh, the money spent on the asset 
uh, but this method uh, is very fast the investor gets the biggest portion of the money uh, very quickly as you can see here almost 50 percent of the uh, depreciated value is received as tax deduction in the first two years so let's uh, work on this example on an excel spreadsheet and see how we can uh, formulate this uh, kind of examples uh, these kind of problems in uh, using a spreadsheet so in this spreadsheet uh, we can see the the previous example that we had a uh, half year convention uh, uh, straight line depreciation so i'm just going to uh, uh, delete these and uh, apply the uh, de declining uh, balance rate so depreciation equals So the declining rate per year uh, equals uh, the 150% divided by five years of uh, depreciation lifetime. And we are going to have the 30% of depreciation rate or declining rate per year. So here I'm going to use vertical formatting this time uh year uh adjusted uh base here and uh depreciation year one two three four five So adjusted base for year uh, one equals uh, $100,000. Uh, so depreciation equals the adjusted base uh, multiply uh, the declining rate. So we are going to have $30,000 of depreciation for year one. For year two, in order to calculate the adjusted base, I need to deduct the depreciation of the previous year from the adjusted base of the previous year. So adjusted base equals $100,000 minus depreciation of the previous year. And uh, depreciation for year two equals the adjusted base multiply the declining rate. Uh, for year three, uh, adjusted base of the previous year minus depreciation of the previous year and uh, depreciation equals adjusted base multiply the declining rate per year. And we do that for year four and uh, year five. Again here, very important uh, thing to notice, the summation of all this depreciation in the declining uh, balance rate method is less than $100,000. Uh, so I calculate this summation. Uh, so we can see this summation is less than uh, the $100,000 of capital cost. And now I uh, enter these depreciations to the cash flow. So year uh, to the uh, before tax cash flow. So depreciation for year one equals minus uh, this number. Uh, depreciation for year two equals $21,000 that I calculated. Depreciation for year three 
and so on to year five. And you can see because I I uh, have already everything set up, uh, this uh, depreciation is going to be updated uh, for after I calculated the net income. They are going to be exactly the same and with the uh, uh, positive sign. And there is nothing here, so I will just clean that.